tension of a very different kind in Britain at the moment with hardline Muslims trying to enforce Sharia law in London. From abstention to abstention, I should say, to amputation, RT's Laura Emmett's been hearing how they want to instill their tough code on the capital. So we are here to tell you that Islam and the Sharia is unstoppable in Europe. Stoning for adultery, cutting off hands for stealing, death for renouncing Islam. This group of men is trying to enforce Sharia law in the UK. They've started a campaign to make certain areas of London and other cities Islamic law controlled zones, starting with Walthamstow, East London. Muslims will be commanding good and forbidding evil, presenting Islam as an alternative to the Muslim and the non-Muslim community. Ultimately, we believe that Muslims can live together, trade according to the Sharia, resolve their problems according to the Sharia, and even police themselves to a large extent. Hopefully one day to have Islamic Emirates, which will have authority locally, security locally, and even provide welfare locally. Chowdhury and his friends are fly-posting parts of London with large Muslim populations. They want to ban drinking, gambling and playing music. And they say they've got bands of young men ready to patrol and enforce Sharia law by any means. Now, that enforcement will not initially be in, on the level of inviting and forbidden verbally. But if someone has the capability to forbid what in essential is something evil, like pornography or prostitution, he should do so. And by that you mean physically? Of course. I believe that prostitutes that are near the mosque they should be run out of the area. These Muslims say British society is broken, riddled with drugs, crime and prostitution. Because of that, they firmly believe members of the communities they're targeting will welcome Sharia law. But the word on the street about the campaign tells a different story. It comes down to if you don't like the laws of the, of the place you live, find somewhere where you do appreciate the laws. And, 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 and all of these things are, are completely legal in this country. This is not India or Pakistan, this is England. We've got our own laws. So people haven't got a right to come in here and bring their laws in here. Well, I think that would cause nothing but trouble. <laughs> Councillor Martin Eesom agrees, saying this could destroy community cohesion. We've got squads going around the borough taking down the posters as soon as they put up because we do not want these posters around our borough. They do not represent the views of our borough and they, they have no place in Waltham Forest. Citizen equality campaigners say the Sharia supporters shouldn't be considered a religious movement but a far-right political organisation with a poster campaign designed to divide and conquer communities. The danger lies in dividing people, um, dividing communities, creating mistrust, and particularly among from non-Muslims towards moderate Muslims. I think this is part of their aim, is to create mistrust. So they can then turn to moderate Muslims and say, look, everyone hates you, we're your friend, turn to us. Um, and it's a very, very dangerous thing, and it's a political tactic to increase their own power. Undeterred by opposition, Chowdhury and his group plan what they see as the beginning of an Islamic emirate, not just in the UK, but all over Europe. Police have mobilised to take these posters down as fast as they appear, but Chowdhury and his group say they formed bands of vigilante enforcers to make sure Sharia is adhered to verbally or physically. And in other parts of London, women have already been harassed for not covering their heads. If these Muslims ever get their way, I won't be able to dress like this on the streets of Walthamstow or many other parts of London, Brussels, Rome and Paris. Laura Emmett, RT, Walthamstow, London. Unrest has broken out in central Kiev.